In this video, we're going to learn how to find the area of a regular polygon. So remember a polygon is just a multi-sided shape, and if it's regular, it means that all of its sides are the same length. So right here we have a hexagon, which is a six-sided polygon, and if it's regular, it means all six of its sides are the same length. There are a few vocabulary words that are important to know in polygons. One is, if you start from the center, the distance from the center to one of the vertices is called a radius, just like the radius of a circle. If instead you want to go from the center down perpendicular to the center of one of the sides, this length is called an apothem. So let's say we want to figure out the area of this polygon. The strategy will be divide it into isosceles triangles from the center. And there will be as many isosceles triangles as there are sides. So for a hexagon with six sides, there will be six triangles. Then find the area of each triangle and multiply by how many triangles there are to find the total area of the whole polygon. So let's say our side length is S. Then the area of one triangle will be S times A divided by two. And A stands for the apothem. So if that's the area of one triangle, then the area of the whole polygon will be that times the number of sides, N. So in this formula, A equals apothem, which is really just the height of one of those triangles. S equals the side length, and remember since it's a regular polygon, all the sides are the same length. And N is the number of sides. In this case, it would be a hexagon, so N would be six. So that's the basic idea for how to find the area of a regular polygon. Think about it as triangles, find the area of each triangle, and multiply by how many there are. Now these types of problems can be tricky depending on the information you're given. You're often not given both a side length and the apothem at the same time. And what you'll have to do then is use trigonometry and the central angle to help you. So if you are not given the apothem or one of the side lengths, you're just given one but not both, you still can always figure out this angle up here. Remember that in a full circle, there's 360 degrees. So the central angle for this polygon right here will just be 360 divided by how many sides there are. So in this case, it would be 360 divided by six because there are six sides and you'd get 60 degrees. So because that's 60 degrees, you actually have, if you look at half of that triangle, a little right triangle where one angle is 30 degrees. So if you knew one of the pieces of information, like if you knew the side length down here or the apothem, you could use the 30 degree angle and trig and the side that's given to figure out the other side that you might need to know. So it depends on the situation, but you often will have to use trigonometry to help you to find one of the pieces of information you need to know in order to find this area.